Hello. We're gonna be starting soon. I'm just making sure everything's working properly. Okay, leap motion is finally working. Okay. Hi hive. Um so yeah. We're gonna be We're gonna do some plot. I heard there's a lot of Ishtola stuff. Um It's a lot of content I need to catch up on. But we're gonna just kinda focus on the big big important stuff. I will try and do what I did before, where <clears throat> I read the non-voice dialogue. I can't promise the same level of quality, because it's been a while. Quella, how lovely to see you. If you're not too much- if you're not in too much of a rush, I was about to make a pot of tea. Would you like a cup? Take a seat, then. I'll find us something to nibble on as well. Yes, yes they did. After this cutscene I'll get into it. Oh wait, hold on. Hang on. It's it looks like it's frozen on OBS. Does it does it look frozen? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I did have some tech issues before I got started. One sec. I will fix this. Wait. Are you able to see that that text box? Like are you seeing the Okay. Do I have two? I have two different Final Fantasy 14s. Okay, that's weird. I'm pining for your return, you understand? I have my sources, and I know that each and every one of you is doing well and keeping busy with your endeavors. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm left with a surplus of free time yeah, I and have... a question of how to make the most of it. Yeah, so, so basically what happened is, I think I know why I've been having random freezes and stuff. Um... With this game specifically. Um, I have two captures of 14 running at the same time. I'm actually going to get rid of this old one. Hang on. Remove. Yes. Yeah. So I have two captures of 14 running at the same time. Which means that it was probably overworking OBS for no reason. plans for the immediate future? A grand new adventure, of course. Oh, I forgot to glamour my scissors. the edge of existence and back wasn't enough? Well, if that's the case, I might have a suggestion for you. You fought bravely and selflessly Helping those in need and saving our staff. <laughs> there is no Hatsune Miku. You were lied to. No. For your deeds, 14. you hailed as the champion of Eorzea and a host of other incredible things. Perhaps yeah, I know. Perhaps you not put those titles aside for a while. 
Everyone knows that it's just been tanking. <laughs> Equip yourself as a simple adventurer again and travel the world in search of wonder. I'm just gonna mull it over. Hmm. Uh, give me a dialogue if option. Having trouble deciding, just leave it to me. Story. Babna, that's where you should go next. Uh. I doubt you were I had a busy morning in a proper tour of rods at harm the last time you were there. Hmm? What with the burning oh, hi. and rampaging monsters and so forth. And I'm sure Ritra would be pleased to see you. Then there's the bounty itself. The Empire's presence in the region was always a deterrent to exploration. So if you've a mind to sail that sea, now's your chance. Just think of all the new experiences you could have. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. That's depressing. You know, I know... I know the oh, point know of Emmett Selk's That's thing at the end of Endwalker was just like, oh, world. there's still stuff to see. I didn't expect them to start cramming that all in, like, immediately. <laughs> well, it's like, I figured that was, that's like, okay, that's a possible expansion, that's a possible expansion. No, this is all point one patch stuff. much longer now though so sit tight and I'll have the last few bits sewn up before you can finish another cup of tea make sure it has pockets are you on mic what's up oh can they not can you not hear them okay is it doing this shit again one sec okay booga booga Eka bunga. Bunga bunga. I actually found a bigger hammer, so now I can unga bunga bigger. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, now it's not... Alright, give me a sec. I might have to create another fucking... Alright, device... This is gonna be... Okay, one of you say something. I think I messed it up. One sec. How do I... What is that? Chat box, cat there. Yes. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Hang on. I think I know how we got around this last time. What is it? Okay. Say something? Hello? Farts. Okay. I hear you. Now let me go back to OBS. Oh, you can hear everyone now. Okay. Ooh. Guys, just one more time. Just say something each. Do you? Don? I was really tempted to say that joke, um, Vaporeon meme thing, but I feel like that would be... It's always distressing to hear, honestly. Okay. Yeah, you're coming through. Great. Good. What the fuck is that? 
it's the like it's like I, I think it's copy pasta or whatever. But it's like, um, did you know that Vaporeon is the most breedable Eevee evolution or whatever? No, 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 no stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's a really, it's a really terrifying copy pasta thing that every like people will jokingly quote. I think even like, there's one famous Nichi Sanji En VTuber that did it, said it as a joke. But it might have been Fanana, who is already like a fish girl, so it makes even more sense. I know Snuffy said that during her cameo in the Family Guy project for Russ, uh, Rebel Ross. That might be what I'm thinking of. More missions added? Do they add more missions, or is these the missions I already knew that they had? Hi, White. Oh, we mustn't forget the Hi, White. Gods forbid you forget to before plunging into the sea. Is, is White Dragon a fan of, like, those huh? Dragonlance novels? Is what? that what this... No, I'm wondering if White Dragon's a fan of those Dragonlance novels, and that's why they're named White Dragon. I... I don't know. And I could, I'm just posing that as a question. I might I'm not... Oh. She... She seemed to respond with confusion. She... I don't oh, know okay. what that is, yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. Never mind then. It's Dragonlance novels are a series of novels that center around a, a oh, thank you, hi. bunch of dragons and dragon riders and stuff. And it did center around like, oh, these are. White. Oh, who this? No, it it so one it, it has that whole like D and D or, ordering of dragons with like the different scales, colors meaning different does, like stuff. Does the white dragon have blue eyes? No. Oh, it's Happy Chaos. <laughs> does it have three thousand attack points? It does not have three thousand attack. points. Oh, this is kind what? of. Oh, this is a sucky situation. Ooh. Mystery. Oh. oh, when does Hildebrand come out? Mm hmm. Foolish burial goods, no. Ah, you're awake. Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy, you're no fun. I'm not gonna play if you're gonna do that. <laughs> that was a crap. <laughs> I, I think you mean 14, but yeah. What happened? Uh, Esk was just talking about the, the food on the table. Uh oh. I have no knowledge of D&D dragon tears and colors and stuff. I don't know if I actually like colors to tell you one's personalities, abilities, and skills. Seems weird. I think it's... I think on a, some level I like it for dragons in, like, that setting. I think it's neat. In, like, a real-life setting, obviously, I think that's dumb. It's just... It's a fun way to organize stuff in a system, like a video game or, like, a setting. Uh -huh. I know D&D uses that for what type of Dragonborn you are and stuff. It's like, oh yeah, I do red scale Dragonborn, and you have fun, then you have fire burst. Oh uh, yeah. That's, that's mostly what I'm talking, that's what I'm getting at, that kind of stuff. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Well, What's the idea? Uh, never mind. The idea is that I had an idea and then I lost it. Oh, okay. The idea was getting an idea. Oh which... yeah, that's right. Fifteen had like highly rendered food. <laughs> I didn't play that much of fifteen, so I'm gonna turn up the okay. volume. I think that person messed up their turn because they ended early on like two things and then they surrendered. Let me know There's... if things get too loud, guys. Cause I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, let us know if we get too rowdy. <laughs> With their rough housing. I'll ban them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is my server. You can't ban me from my server. <laughs> so you thought. <gasps> no! Best What's looking this tape doing on this? <laughs> Oops. Oh, they're going for their speed. Uh Hey, Don. What was that? Do you, does have you kept your headset, your VR headset charged up? I, I could charge it up if you want me to. Yeah, I want to do some VR chat. Let's go visit that uh, 
museum that we mentioned weeks back. Just so you guys know, I will be reading NPC dialogue because this is 14. Okay, that's fine. So if you hear me saying weird shit, that's why. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I don't want why to be. Did, why did Teeth say foot lettuce? <laughs> <laughs> Observe as the artiste refines her piece into a masterpiece. And no napping this time. I only need a moment. You'll see. Gotta admit, that's kind of my. That that is oh that is me when I'm doing art. Is like I need a I need naps like a lot. <laughs> A little more room in the shoulders, open up the cuffs, a final adjustment to the hem. All done! Let's see how it looks on the mannequin. It's smaller than me! <laughs> Tatsu, I don't think that's gonna fit me. Don't worry. That could probably barely fit Ishtola, honestly. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Doesn't just scream ready for a bold new adventure? No. It's okay, it'll fit by the magic of MMO clothing, I guess. <laughs> oh, golden slam. Now I can golden butt slam. I'm so glad you approve. Um, so what do I owe you? Five million gil. I've never seen that money. Oh, don't be silly. Your approval is payment enough. If you really want to thank me, though, all I ask is that you wear this on your travels. Yeah, uh, make sure you <laughs> you tell everyone who you're wearing. Oh, that I fucking smirk. Holy shit. Or at least anywhere with lots of adventurers might gather. <laughs> oh, also wear this Rolex. They'll look at you, a famous hero, and wonder, where ever did she purchase the stylish yet practical garments? And before you know it, hordes of new customers will be climbing over each other to p place orders at Tataru Taru's uh, boutique. Mwaha! I hear it now. The merry clink clink of gill overflowing from my coffers. Sweet <laughs> music to my ears. Juicy is a move to Baumung that should make a fortune off selling clothes. <laughs> Actually, don't know if we're talking about Tatcher or not. It's a yeah, yeah. We're talking about. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on. It looks it's a good looking outfit. Would I like it? Maybe it's very standard Final Fantasy XIV adventuring gear. Mm. Does it have a dress or skirt though? Mm. It, ha what it do doesn't even come with pants. You can add a skirt. Oh okay. Well, I do like the lack of pants. If I'll be honest. Excuse me. Okay. I didn't know you were into exhibitionism, but all right. No, I just don't like. So this pants. is I why like you're on Balmung. No, I like skirts. I like that. There's an option: is skirts and shorts. That's what I want. Oh, the unending codex. It now gives me entries on um, the characters. Oh my god! So I'm I not played... reading all this. <laughs> I played <laughs> reasoning. This person is taking three minutes to decide what to do with it. Sorry, go on. Oh, I'm just saying, I'm not fucking reading that entire unending codex entry in the fucking... on Tataru. It's like a novella in there. <laughs> Telenovela. Ooh, Fenrir Pop. When did I get that? That's from PvP. Like... <laughs> Appreciating the option of legs. Fair. Uh... <laughs> I says, Dom, please be more careful with your words. <laughs> I've, I've tripped into a lot of unfortunate things. I don't think I'm ever going to stop. I'm just bad. I'm very bad at accidentally tripping uh... into dumb things. Well, or at least that's what you want us to do. Everyone keeps ma getting mad at me for making puns I don't intend. Why would I get mad at you? Well... I, I'll make a bad dad pun and not realize I made a pun to begin with, and I was just like using a common phrase on accident. And it's like, oh yeah, or say something like, oh, we should, everyone should take it easy and take and chill out, and then it's in a, it's it's in an area that's cold for some reason, and they say like, dawn, and they're like, oh shoot, I shouldn't even notice. <laughs> and then the and then the sitcom uh, if uh, closing music Laugh plays. Track. Oh man, I. 
that would be like a hell, right? Is if like <laughs> like you suddenly had laugh trap to your life. That would be very terrifying to me. And then I yeah. slide into the frame going, Bazinga! <laughs> At least pick like Kramer kind of slide in, not Bazinga slide in. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't think Sheldon slides into the frame. I guess I don't think he does either. I don't watch that TV show. I don't watch TV. <laughs> I watch TV via streaming. Like streaming services. Hmm. I'm trying to find a good color. It's kind of hard. Oh my god. I'm still waiting for this guy to decide what to do with the reasoning I put out. I get it. It takes a while to read and understand reasoning, but not this long. Come on. It takes god. a while to read. I get it. <laughs> I mean, it's Yu Gi Oh! All the cards he has yes, too why much. That's why I never text. passed the SATs. Huh? I might just do double mood red. I mean, really, at that point, I would just throw caution to the wind and just pick them up. They're probably just fucking with you now. They're trying to see if you, you'll quit. Yeah. They don't know that I'm fairly patient when it comes to this. Okay. I'm less patient if, like... We'll worry about it later, anyway. Oh. It's for something else. Nice. <laughs> Me goo. <laughs> Series of unfortunate statements. <laughs> Someone drew Hatsune Miku as a slime girl and named her Hatsune Miku Goo. Miku. Miku. Does the uh, former receptionist and sometimes intelligence gatherer of the Scions allow me to offer you a word of advice? Do not expect juicy rumors to simply fall into your lap. Adventurers rely on gossip, and the best places to pick up information are taverns and markets. I've done this before, Dr. At present, you only have a broad destination in mind. When you arrive in Thavnir, I suggest you explore your options at... Oh, jeez. Uh... Marid's... May... Mahain? Mahain. Sure. Uh, the finest drinking establishment in Razatom. Charm the employees, and they'll not only put you in the direction of the local tale tellers, but also share with you the tricks of loosening their tongues. Now, I really must be running, uh, get back to running my boutique. Enjoy the journey, Quella, and may for fair fortune find you. Also, don't forget to wear that Rolex. What Rolex? <laughs> the one she slipped you. Are you talking about the outfit? Half a million. No, maybe. Okay, I mean, I can take a second to go fucking make room in my glamour dresser because they didn't update the capacity yet. <laughs> capacity? What's taking them so long? Come on. I don't know. Gotta make room. Okay. Um, what leaves? Something's gotta go. I'm sleepy. I should go lay on my couch. Wait for this guy to finally decide what to do. Take that out. At this rate, you're probably just gonna win by default. Yeah, and it's like I don't. Because you have to actively move your cursor around to make sure you don't time out. Because you have like, like, I think it's like maybe 30 seconds before it automatically Take that out. You aren't putting inputs in. Ow, 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 <laughs> fuck. IRL, every time you run, you gain the effect of sprint. Yeah. Um... <sighs> Try some slots. Oh, uh, surrender or timeout? Let's see. Time limit win. 
is acceptable. It's not ideal, but it's acceptable. Why do I have these in here? Get them out. Uh, what do I really want in the graveyard right now? I laugh. Oh, no, those are good. I want those. I want to stay. I don't need those. Left hand out. A flock, they're not a spell casting deck, and then voila, I can mess with them. Another guns in your bottoms. Diamond treasures? Yes, quest screener draw from the metal foes. Hmm. Don't take those out. Okay. Let's see. Where is... I suppose I have... Creation... Creeping... Okay, Ice Wayfarer's Tavern. Wayfarer's Fingerless Gloves. <laughs> Alright, this angle. It's, it's okay. I don't believe there was any pants. No. Wayfarer's boots. Um, Wayfarer's ear cuffs. And Wayfarer necklace. Okay, that's the whole set. I don't need this. We can get rid of this. A good number... Like, if I get enough of my board up, people are like, no thank you. And I, I, I don't... I guess I don't blame people. It's just funny when that happens. No, I did not want these in my hand. We dyed the boots. That doesn't look too too bad. Real end game right there. Yeah, this is the real end game. <laughs> um, I want to put some color into it. Unveiling in there. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. Yeah, the blue kind of works. We can do the blue. Um, now, do I want to apply it to this job? Not really. Because uh, it'd be kind of a pain. Do I have another 90 job? I have summer. Champagne. 
I have summoner on my... Okay, so next turn I can special summon something. Yeah, yeah, it's here. Easily. Okay. So, let me just hide my headpiece. Oh, Don, after that match, <sighs> there we go. Go, go charge your thing. Oh, it's already charging. Oh. I, I, um, I quit a match earlier because it was. I think they ashed my very first thing that I didn't have a play, so I was like, I'm just going to surrender and start charging my headset. Right. Speaking God, of, I'll be right back. Okay. There we go. Got that done. <clears throat> to the plot. Welcome to Merid's Mahane, whatever. I'm, I'm, I gave up with the name, I can't pronounce it. Oh, hello, I did not recognize you at first. Are you here alone? Let me find you a table. Ruins beneath the bounty. Would you be speaking of the sunken treasure vault? We have one regular, a historian in fact, who could tell you all about it. Ah, there he is. Professor Jalheen? I thought I saw him come in. Nice. Although a somewhat private sort, the professor is quick to befriend those who share his fondness for the Mahane's unique beverages. Offer him any drink from our selection, and he should happily share everything he knows about the vault you seek, and a few other odd bits besides. Whatever you buy for him is on the house, by the way. If uh, found out I took coin from him, from Thavnir's savior, she would have me scrubbing scrubbing pots for a week. <laughs> yes. The following event cannot be skipped. You may want to cancel any pending duty fire registrations. <laughs> And what may I do for you, my Eorzean friend? Oh, just a friendly chat. How about a drink? What? Well, I certainly couldn't say no to a drink freely offered. Here we are. One of Married's finest. Enjoy. Ah, lovely. Bottoms up. Jolene empties the cup in a single pull. That was very kind of you, miss, but I know when I'm being softened up. What is it that you want from me? I follow a bunch of Twitter bots that tweet out micro-narratives, and this is my favorite one yet from Space Traveler. You land on the blinding surface, you realize the cloudless air means you might die. You die? <laughs> 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 oh ho, chasing that old tale, are you? It does seem to appeal to the adventurous at heart. Now, where to begin? Might I assume you've heard of Al Zadal? He was Khan of the Auri tribe, which sailed to Thavnir from the mainland, and a key figure in the history of Ratzahan. His decision to aid. Arkasodara, Arkasodara 
is what ultimately won them the war against the Gajasura, thus allowing our predecessors to lay the foundation for thriving city-state. The truly fascinating stories, however, concern his grandson, Alzadal III, who was known for his deeds as a satrap in Razahan's earlier days. Some attest that this man traveled to another world entirely and returned with glittering riches, others that he brokered an alliance with a certain worm of the first brood. Then there is tale of this sunken vault, the one you seem most curious about. According to this legend, Alzahal III claimed a small island somewhere in the middle of the bounty. There he built a structure reaching clear to the bottom of the sea, a deep and secret storehouse, and locked all his worldly wealth within. In the centuries since, whenever a natural disaster or hardship befell Radzahan, folks would remember the tale of hidden treasure. Hardy souls would set out to claim their fortune, but precious few ever made it home. Would you like to hear one more? Apologies, I have a slight tickle in- oh, my cup appears to be empty. Hail another round for the professor. Ah, I see we've reached an understanding. You're a sharp one, adventurer. See, one upside of modern games sometimes having VA is that you have opportunity to learn how on earth you're meant to pronounce this stuff. Yeah, really. Another for the professor. Oh ho ho, today was a splendid day to visit the Mahim. Jahim gulps down his newest drink with gusto. Where were we? Uh, yes, those who did return from seeking the treasure vault refused. I mean, flatly refused to speak of what they saw. Did this discourage others? Nay, quite the opposite. Such accounts only served to heed to feed the legend, and the golden lure grew stronger than ever before. That reminds me of something Aza Azama was saying. Azama is a fellow connoisseur of spirituous potables. Yes, yes he is. Anyway, he was saying that one of his acquaint acquaintances went after the treasure himself. Hasn't been seen since he set sail, I hear. But he did have uh, no, I can't say no more. You seem a generous sort. What kind of man would I be to encourage what is clearly a foolhardy quest? If my words sent you to your death, I could never live with myself. I'm no stranger to peril. Is that so? Perhaps it's your turn to tell the tale then. What manner of dangers have you faced? Like all of them. I'm also not a stranger to love. Like all of them. The very edge of existence. Of From anywhere else, I'd struggle to believe it. But I recognize you now. You're the hero of the final days. A drink. Another drink to settle my nerves. Mahil, more of the same, if you please. As you wish, but this one's on your own, on your coin, Professor. Jaheen drains another cup dry. This guy's gonna pass out. He sure is. <laughs> anyway, you being who you are, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to share a little more. This friend of Asma's, he was desperate to buy a treasure map. <laughs> one which showed the <laughs> way. Desperate. desperate. That's how they spell it. Showed the way to the entrance of the vault. It seems he could only get it from some merchants. What's his name? Bah, I forgot. Mischievous. <laughs> Let's drink a toast to you, my new best friend. That sounds like you're trying to uh, do a... Oh, God. Like a Sean Connery impression. <laughs> I'm not the one who wrote that shit like that. I'm only pronouncing what they put in front of me.
Ah, uh, marvelous. I'm oh, parched. Really? I bet you were. He gulps down the cup of water. That was water! Did you tell her to bring me water? Still, that's yes. that's probably for the best. Very kind of you, really. My head will sh certainly thank you in the morning. Yeah, that is clear one single dragon. <laughs> I seem to have overindulged, but I put in mind the words of Master uh, Jalzan. Be wary of how much you drink. How much of the drink you swallow, lest it swallow you whole. <laughs> Forgive me, I... <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore, it's frustrating. I will subject you to no more of these unseemly ahem, unseemly antics. If you want to speak to Azuma, well, as I said, we share a taste for Mahin's fine spirits. He'll probably came in as we were talking. I wish you fortune in finding your fortune. You appear to have learned all you Jahin as we're going to pull out more. You'll need to locate a man by the name of Azuma. Yes, I'm Asma. Who might you be? I'm Asma. I do have Asma. <laughs> All true, I'm afraid. My friend took a ship out in search of Alzahal legacy, and I've been watching for his sails ever since. I tried to dissuade him, of course, but he refused to listen. All he could talk about was finding that vault. Hazma? No, it's Azuma. Like Azuma Godayo. Azumanga. I don't know, I never read it. That look in his eyes, I knew it wasn't common gold or jewels he lusted after. He was hunting Aldzal's the third's otherworldly horde, and his ambition would not be denied. I see it in you too, that appetite for the mysterious and the unknown. But I'll not attempt to turn you from your path. I know too well the futility of that endeavor. So I'll tell you what my friend told me, how he convinced a merchant in the bazaar to give him Excuse me. Yeah. To give him the rough location of the vault's entrance. It seems this merchant, one Zassal, I believe, is selling a map which shows the exact route, but my friend's purse was too tight for his exorbitant price. With what meager wealth he had, he instead paid to learn that there are ruins on the small island somewhere in the bounty. And within those ruins hides the path to the vault deep below. Okay. If you truly intend on seeking Alzadal's Al treasure, I suggest you put your affairs in order. I wish things were different, but I do not believe my friend is ever coming home. Estenian's gonna have overpaid for it, isn't he? <laughs> Through the nose. Please, you must let me have that treasure map. What's that box all this about? That box would not fit that map. My mother and father were slaughtered by monsters. My baby sister, still too young to fend for herself. Can you spare us no kindness? So, you hope to find your fortune? Then what? You expect me to surrender my wares for pity's sake? What have you to offer in payment? As I thought, come back when you've more than rags to your name. Those speed droids are so exhausting. This is no mere treasure map. It is a guide to the vaults of Arzadal III, one of the great star tracks of Radzat Han, and a direct descendant of Alzadal Khan. A map to Alzadal's legacy. So he says. A fake I'd wager. This is no fake. The parchment is marked with an arcane glyph of passage. Your character continues to make everybody in the scene look too short. Yup. 
It's the Rogan in life. You may find the ruins hidden in the bounty. Oh, you won't be setting foot watching. inside without this in your possession. A priceless artifact it is. Discovered amongst the rubble in the aftermath of the final days. And lovingly restored by yours truly. Holy heck, my dude. This, this map is, so is the key to fabulous exhausting. riches. But I'll be the king of fools to simply give it away. Be glad I am no such king boy. Your scrawny eye did never return with that treasure alive. <laughs> oh, Despair! Why must you tempt me with wealth I am powerless to claim? How oh, I shall envy the one who purchases that precious map. Whatever they pay will be but pittance against the golden hordes they stand to uncover. Oh, this is all an act, isn't it? Oh no, Estidian! Uh, of course, it's crystal clear wind. There's some better water. What of you, sir? Fighting man of your stature would surely relish the challenge of recovering Alzadal's lost fortune. A fortune, you say? If I had but the strength to seize that treasure, my starving sister would never want for food. I'll take it. Will this cover the price? Stinian, you absolute mug. Yeah, he's not smart with money. Well met, my friend. Someone is dressed for adventure. Yep. But why Favna of all places? Knowing you, I suspect there's more to your plans than sightseeing and shopping. I question uh, most of your NPC friends being good with money. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, it's about uh, this fucking most, most of the songs are okay Who with it. Alpha no is not. That's really good. Cool. No. Alpha no yeah, spent way too much to money on a katana. <laughs> Such a weeb. Speech rights are so fucking boring. Or maybe With he's so much of a tourist that he just didn't off. realize how Thank valuable you for your patronage, sir, sword but could be. You excuse me. You needn't mind us. And now I'll fleece one of the heroes of the final days. Probably the sisters were looking elsewhere. Oh, was the kid not acting? Or was he acting and just feels bad? This map may or may not be genuine. Either way, we'll need a ship to find out for sure. Heavy cards. I never took you for a treasure hunter. Let's try this. Unless you I never took you for a while. I seek the treasure Stab. not for myself. If such a fortune truly exists, then it could help ease the struggles of those who lost their loved ones in the final days. I hope to do for Thavnir what you and Alphano did for the Alanegans when you recovered the Mad King's trove. I remember that. Come now. You know Alphano needs little encouragement when it comes to recounting the tales of your shared exploits. Speaking of precocious lads, that boy in the bazaar was clearly an accomplice of the merchant. Okay. Don't leave me without there, though. I suppose his role was to draw the attention of the crowd okay. and add weight to the merchant's this. bold claims. Transparent act for the most part. It was not all mummery. 
the need to provide for his sister rang true enough. Thus, if some portion of the profits oh, end up in that you, waste dude. pocket, really? then I will consider it money ass. well spent. Whether the Ooh, map leads us to the vault or not. Well, I'm glad Estenine isn't dumb enough to fall for that bad act. You are coming along, yes? Naturally. I thought as much. Now, let's see about securing a vessel. What are you giggling about? <laughs> Nothing. Uh huh. Okay, keep your secrets. <laughs> okay. You'll recall I spoke of visiting Thavnir at Vitra's request. Well, he finally invited me to a feast and made his proposal once I was too full of heinous delights to refuse. He wished to train me in. Tra he wished me to train the Radiant Host in lance work. But that, is a, but that is a tale for another time. What we need now is a merchant or a traveler with a ship fit for open seas. Matsya is a fisherman by trade, yes? We should head to Akiali and see if he can help us. Oh, I never got that far in the map? I didn't get a lot of parts of the map. The city may be many things. He, he certainly is. Friends, what brings you to our humble village? Do you have a boat? I want to smash. <laughs> so you need a seaworthy vessel to seek these ruins. Considering it was our, de it was your deeds which allowed us to return to fishing, I should think everyone would be glad for a chance to repay the favor. Wait here, I will have a boat stocked and ready for you in no time at all. There is little quite so MMO as going to find someone whose ship you can charter on your flying motorbike. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Have you noticed our little shadow? He may be following us since we left the city. We see you there, boy. Show yourself. Dad of boy. Dad of boy. 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 Ah, it is you. Do you know how far out of our way we walked so that you would not cross paths with some wild beasts? Well, oh, you that... walked. I didn't. What a I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't... Aren't you the heroes who saved Thavnir? You are. I know you are. And I've gone and cheated you. I work with Zashal, you see, the map merchant. It's my job to play the pleading orphan and convince the crowd his wares are worth the price he asks. I'm ashamed of what I've done, and I beg you for your forgiveness. If not for you, my sister and I would have never... Well, we'd be... Enough. I knew your game, and I paid the price willingly. A fortunate purchase, as it turns out, for my friend here was seeking those very ruins. You were kind to overlook the wrong I have done you. But there is more you need to know. The map you bought is very real, as it 
is the island it shows. I overheard Zashal selling the information to another customer. He told that man where he needed to search about the ruins, about the vault, about everything. Then the man sailed out to find his fortune, never to return. You cannot go alone in that place. Excuse me. <clears throat> you should have more friends with you. Maybe even a whole army. I do not doubt the ruins hold danger, but I assure you, between the two of us, there is little we cannot overcome. Please, I cannot bear the thought of... of... <laughs> now you've gone and made him cry. My fault. <laughs> I did not. That was not my intention. Oh, very well. Assuming we do find this treasure hoard, it may prove wise to have more hands along for the carrying. Any ideas of whom to approach? The Scions have scattered far and wide since our last gathering. Uh... Probably Graha and Kryl. Oh, Ishtola's her only option. Okay. We're picking Ishtola. She likes weird mysteries. Ishtola. Her magics would be a welcome addition, aye. But I am loath to interrupt her research. Perhaps we could ask a less prickly companion. Don't let her hear you say that. What about Graha and Kryl? Will Kryl ever get to do combat? Aye, Kryl may have her hands full rebuilding the students, but if you reach out to Graha, he would surely leave at the invitation. Well, that's set your mind at ease. Yes, if that man is as strong as you. Is he, though? Strong, I mean? Well, he's like a 300 plus year old cat, so. <laughs> What is your name, boy? Merod, sir. The prickliness is what makes it worthwhile. <laughs> Step down to prickly, at least. Yeah. Well, Merod, your life is yours to live as you will, but I suggest you find a more honest trade if you truly wish to keep your sister safe. That's easy for you to say, Estenian. <laughs> I'm not proud of what I do. But what choice do I have? We need to eat. Everyone's too busy rebuilding their own lives to bother with two grubby orphans. Wait, boy. I didn't take this roundabout road just to see you end up on some creature's belly. Let me walk you back to the city gates. Thank you, sir. Call me Astinian. Oh, that isn't gonna help me. The dragon genocider shouldn't be calling the pot block. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna end up adopting some more kids? Uh, we'll see. I shall leave you to recruit Graha. He'll appreciate the invitation that much more, I'm sure. As I recall, he was based in the annex. Someone there ought to be able to point you in the right direction. Let's be off too, Marad. Do me a favor and don't stray from the path. Yes, please adopt this living incarnation of the... What is that face? I can't tell what emoji that is. Is it the crying face emoji? <laughs> it's nice to see a Stinian more mellow though. Yeah, it is nice. He, he's chilled out a lot. Pleading emoji, got it, yeah. to the steps and quit the game. Oh, that... <laughs> steps is a really good part, though. Oh, Jikaf, Sunjikaf. Oh, look who it is. Welcome back, Quella. What might the students do for you? I'm looking for a cat boy. Graha? Yes, he's in the main hall with Mr. Skryl. They've been holed up there for days. By all means, go in there and give them an excuse to take a break. 
Eh, I got nothing this turn. This was wholly unfun duel. I'm looking for a capoid, just like in general, really. Ah, Erjika, my good man. Would you be so kind as to. Don't act like we've never met. Oh, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I wish you had sent word ahead. I thought I was having visions for a moment there. What are you two doing? What are you doing? Why are you working for days on end? Raha and I have been compiling old records of the students' activities. We located several accounts in the archives of Numenon and added them to the collection we recovered from the Isle of Val. And judging by the progress we've made thus far, sorting this pile will keep us occupied for days to come. But what brings you to the Annex, my friend? Surely you haven't come all this way just to watch us shuffle dusty papers around? Well, Graha, you told me to bring you along next time I had an adventure. Again. So we're doing that now. The treasure <laughs> vault of Alzadar III. And you're looking for companions to join you on this expedition. <laughs> Clearly someone hasn't worked in an academia before. No, I haven't. Oh, I would dearly love to accompany you, of course. But I'm afraid I'm committed to another <sighs> task. On the subject of which, I had hoped to ask for your assistance. Man, they're just gonna keep making up excuses why Kral never gets to do anything. Oh no. He's vibrating. Then again, it's not so ah, urgent that boom. you can't wait until you've returned. I think I dropped my freaking drink. You should go, Raha. I'll stay here and mind the shop, as it were. Are you sure? <laughs> I'd hate to leave you short-handed. I'm sure. Just try to be back before too many moons have passed. They're gonna bait you on this again someday, and then suddenly, bam, crowl in combat, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we're off on another adventure already. He's so excited. Have you asked anyone else to come along? Who, Graha? Yeah. He, of course he's excited. He's always excited to do something with you. Ah, see, even he wants his shoulder to come along. Ever since <laughs> the Scions disbanded, she spent most of her time cloistered within the Great Google Library. Graha's on It's true. Reverse the rift. Oh, that's not it me. Seem, that's not. However, that whatever wisdom she sought there was not to be found. She arrived in Charlion the other day. We spoke briefly before she began her search of Numenor. Considering what you've told us of Alzadar's extraordinary feats, I do believe your Stola would be more than interested to hear what you have to say. Splendid! Then let us head to the archives at once. Wait before you go. I have another potential member to volunteer, if you've room to spare. Uriange. I read a comment on Twitter the other day related to this, where he's like, I hate to leave you here on your own, already has the door opened. <laughs> he sent the students a request for materials, you see. Treatises on the architecture of treasure vaults and the like. From what I can gather, the Loperits are looking to make improvements to their own creation and wish to learn more about how we build things down here. So, why not take Uriange with you? Let him study Alzadar's legacy firsthand. None can deny the benefit of seeing something with your own eyes. If our expedition leader has no objections, 
I say we extend Uriange an invitation once we've spoken with your Stola. Safe travels, you two. But don't forget, I'd still like your help with that other matter I mentioned. Yeah, we'll totally help with that and not conveniently right. forget. Then it's off to the library. <laughs> I really want them to put Graha's outfit on the shop, but like, I know they're just gonna make it male only and undiable and a one piece. Yeah, probably. I really wish they would stop doing that. It's dumb. Like, they've been doing a really good job with ungendering stuff. Please stop putting gendered stuff on the cash shop. <laughs> that would be ideal, yeah. I have a troll list. Do I have a masterpiece in it? No. Oh, perfect. Oh my god, Ishtola. What are you doing? This is like, this is like her equivalent of finding somebody like at a bar drinking too much, except it's books. I've never oh, known you stole like to doze off in break. the middle of I research before. It's annoying. <laughs> Why can't I do? Oh no, it's Patronus, which no, won't let me do anything. It's almost a piece. Close my eyes for one moment. Yeah, they've been doing the ear wiggles on the cats a lot more. That's good. <laughs> Thump. How long have you two been here? Oh, you know, a couple hours. We didn't want to wake you. Nor did I want to fall asleep. <laughs> she sounded so miserable saying that. I must have been studying for two, three days straight before exhaustion finally claimed me. As you know, I've been researching ways to travel from the source to one of its reflections. Well, oh, gosh, dang it. I don't expect to find a simple set of instructions tucked away in some dark corner of the library. Uh, you know, kids like that, hates to sleep, thinks it's a waste of time. I, I get that. I, too, revenge sleep a lot. Hate that. Uh... I've done that too. I've studied for three days straight with no sleep. So I've been skimming through the stacks, hoping to uncover even a partial mention of any similar feats in the past. A means to travel between worlds exists. And oh, cool. I guess I just I will find probably a way to lose. employ it. Why don't. Why don't we just go back to the Crystal Tower and have Graha... Oh, wait, no, he can only bring people to him. Fuck. Never mind. So I promised Runa. What happened? I was, I was just saying, like, impossible task. if she wants to travel between shards, why don't we just put Graha in the Crystal Tower and have him use it to teleport people, but then he, he can only bring people to him, not the other way around. Oh, right. You needn't be so hard on yourself. 
The leap I made with the Crystal Tower was not achieved in an afternoon. It was the culmination of a collective effort spanning generations. Oh, you think me discouraged? I assure you, it is quite the opposite. A daunting challenge and the time to sink my teeth into it. I feel like a fresh-faced student again. A scholar in her element. Meanwhile, barely going a day without uh, will render me useless. Well, more useless, yeah. I've hit the point in my life where, like, I can't... I can't not sleep for at least six hours. Um... Because if I, if I get any less sleep, like, I'm not going to be able to function. And since my job is driving, like, that's really dangerous. Oh, Zaf, I've or ordered a Hori Indeed. Rapkai? Was there something else? What is a Hori Rapkai? Alzadal is no minor figure in Harnish history. And much is known about his family. But this is the first I've heard of a descendant surviving a trip to another world. Oh yeah, I will be quite cross with you if you don't sleep enough. Well, tonight it doesn't matter. I can stay up as much as I want tonight because I have tomorrow off. I have Saturdays and Sundays off now. So I can fucking be shitty about sleep because I can get as much sleep as I want tomorrow. Um, but tomorrow I'll have to go to bed at a reasonable time. Well... I have to go to bed with enough time to sleep, which can be as late as like four o'clock if I feel like it. If those tales are true, yeah, they have left behind some clue as to how it was accomplished. Are you excited about keep being able to stay up late. An invitation to no. delve into one of the world's oh, okay. lingering mysteries. I see how it is. As if I could refuse. <laughs> I don't want no one knowing my true feelings. I want to on this expedition. <laughs> Again, keep your secrets. <laughs> I will. I will guard them with my life. Akiali, by ship. But before that, we thought to extend an invitation to Urianje as well. He was in Thalmazay last we heard. Every time I see Ishola, I just want to give her head pats. Then by all means, let us recruit him and be on our way. She would also probably fry me, but... <laughs> It'd be worth it. <laughs> oh, it's a fight stick. Are you, are you going to try and use stick now? Character is totally the right height to do it, too. Yeah. Oh, thank you, game, for telling me that the pair of pants I put on the market is sold. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> thank goodness that the, the marketplace sends telepathic waves. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling my body breaking down around me. I figure a stick would uh, prolong the process rather than speed it up. It, it can. Um... I remember when I first started using stick, I had a lot of trouble uh, adjusting to it. Um, also, if you're not careful, you can very easily uh, hurt your wrist. Um, not everyone has that issue, but I know I, I've met a few people who do. Like, if you just... Especially when you're not used to it, like, you can be a little too forceful on your wrist. Um, and you really don't want to do that. champion. Cloaked in the mantle of the common explorer, fame set aside in thy pursuit of simple adventure. Is this unique dialogue I'm getting because I bore the outfit Tataru gave me? I am told a new expedition is in the offing. Or it could be a scene where it renders you in the outfit. 
Wasn't Thancred with you? Good idea to pick up Plus R in the game to learn. To plus R is really fun. Errand, but should be returning ere long. I would not take it too seriously, honestly. Like, <laughs> it's not an active game anymore. Uh, just fucking, just fuck around. Just fuck around. I, I've never been good at Plus R. I enjoy playing Plus R, but I've never been good at it. You've been keeping yourself busy, I trust. True to our plan, Thancred and I embarked upon a pilgrimage of sorts, with an eye for gauging the state of those lands. Oh yeah, which we plus passed. our Eno is fucking brutal. Like when Strive was going through its like uh, its its network tests, I was like during the last one where they had Eno available, um, I was genuinely surprised how much easier they made her. Because, like, old Eno? Old Eno has to do half circle back forwards for not supers, which is ridiculous. And she has to do them in the air. Our travels were interrupted, however, by a request for aid from our beferred lunar allies. As you may recall, the Lockerets have been seeking new purpose for the moon. Another role through which it might serve to benefit mankind. The Forum have been working to advise them in this endeavor, but I return to offer my own yeah. counsel. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. A lot of people won't do it. Um, she's easily one of the hardest characters to play. Um, that was my first Guilty Gear, though, and that's why I, like very quickly grew attached to Biken just because of how she plays in that game. And this has what to do with treasure vaults, exactly? Ah, you have learned of my predicament from Mistress Cryle. I know not whence they acquired such knowledge, but the Loperates now stand convinced that adventurers delight in treasure hunts. <laughs> Who told the bunnies we like Thus, doing dungeons? With newly built wonderland of riches and history, do they hope to entice all manner of daring delvers to the moon? So earnest and innocent was their desire to bring joy to the world that I found myself powerless to refuse them my cooperation. But what of you, my friends? Why are you come to Labyrinthos? Fascinating. This is indeed a most fortuitous opportunity. I should be honored to accept thine invitation. This might sound really mean to say, but I'm kind of glad we're not hanging out with the twins. How long has it been, I wonder, when of... last our actions were but not held by fate or desperation? Like, it's not that I don't like the twins, it's just that, like, God, we spent so much time with them over the last two expansions. It's just like, I yeah. need a break from the kids, man. I got a phone call. I, though I cherish the Scion's accomplishments, it is pleasant to not have the weight of the world upon our shoulders for a change. Back. Okay, that person never. I'm. Never mind, I gotta go AFK. I was gonna go AFK when this purse at this duel finished, but they surrendered. Knowing what traps or perils await on wary feet, we may be wise to refrain from recruiting others. I agree. Between us, we should have the skills to handle whatever situation may arise. Shall we be on our way? What? No time to spare a word for the grizzled old bard. I don't know if you can call yourself a bard. All is well, I trust. A wasted trip, I'm afraid. But I passed the bar. I hope to catch up with a former mentor while you parleyed with the rabbits. But it seems our paths were not to cross. How was your pilgrimage? Having an astrologian beside you on the road is surprisingly convenient. And it doesn't hurt that he's making strides with his light hearted banter.
In any case, as we made our way around Ilzabad, we saw that much of the continent was in various stages of chaos. He hasn't been a bard since Legacy, when he was pretending to be a bard to do undercover stuff, right? Uh, are you talking about 1.0? Because I barely played 1.0. I did play 1.0, but not a lot. I think I got to, like, level 15 or something. If that. A certain amount of disorder is to be expected. The final days are over, and the people no longer have a common threat binding them together. That's the thing with these fledgling troubles, eh? You need to keep an eye out, lest they mature into full-grown headaches. So, for what reason have so many esteemed personages seemed fit to gather? I was watching the Wumpano story a while back, yeah. Beneath the waters of the bounty, you say? I see you've already stolen away my traveling partner with the promise of unexplored ruins and scholarly glory. Nay, it is not for mine own indulgence, but rather the fulfillment of my commitment to the Loperids. Ah, of course. And if you have a Stinian rounding out your group, you'll likely have all the members you need. You trying to guilt me, Thinkrid? I could put in a good word for you, if you like. We may have been released from our obligations, but I'll never be free of that merciless wit of yours, will I? In all seriousness, it is best I sit this one out. Too many former scions consorting with one another might be seen as a cause for concern in certain quarters. I'll return to my usual reconnaissance and scout out the situation in the Far East. Feel free to share if you come across any interesting revelations. Estrella already... already. Always ready to sass, yeah. That's that's just her. Till we meet again. Shall we also hasten our departure? Sir Estinian will wonder what has become of us. That's an expensive teleport. Ever since they uncapped the cost, it's been like, ugh. I send you to recruit Graha and you return with an entire survey party. I hope Matsya's boat is sturdy enough to carry us all. What he means is we are grateful for the, uh, the use of one of your precious fishing vessels. We are more than glad for the chance to provide it. I only ask that you take care to steer clear of the reefs and the shallows there. Aye, we will keep an eye out. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to yawn. Thank you for the translation, Estola. Alzadal the Third. I confess I am somewhat embarrassed that the tale of his journey to another world escaped my notice. Could it be more than simple folklore? And what of the treasure you supposedly brought back? This undersea vault may hold relics from another reflection. My friends, we should temper our expectations. The map doth promise ruins, but beyond that we do not know what we will find. Not until we find it, aye. So let us dispense with the conjecture and set sail for the vault.
Okay, I'm gonna take... Shola. Um, hmm. Victory will be ours! I guess I already filled the other DPS slot. Our fates are not yet sealed. I stand Our fates ever ready. are not yet sealed. Sorry, Asinian. This is basically a place from Final Fantasy XI. Okay, Growhawk, go get him. Someone gets slow. Does this Tola just tag this of the seventh dawn onto your spells? No, this one's totally different, I swear. <laughs> yeah. I mean they have to differentiate the the uh the NPC abilities from player abilities. Um so I'll I know a lot of them have, like, of the seventh dawn as a tag to the most of their spells. I love the fucking shoulder tag from E3. It's so good.
Ah, shit. I love that little, like, pop that I do whenever I do the AoE for Phoenix. Such a good animation. I don't think we've seen a boss yet. Oh, that looks like one. Is that just using the Kraken? No, it's using the Ultros animations. Yeah, he's just doing ultra shit. What is this mechanic? What? Oh, fuck. Ah! Try and pay attention this time. But that I mean for all the NPCs. Something special for you. Oh, so I did see, um, Seeing Red today. How'd you like it? It was very good. I thought it was quite cute. I'm glad you it also It was very it. cute. Did you infect see Red? I saw a lot of Red Panda. Were you also offended that they didn't talk about 9-11 during it? <laughs> yes, absolutely. 2002 and no one talked about 9-11. I can't believe it. Why would why would people in Toronto not be talking about that? Yeah, why wouldn't they? So dumb. 
Like the weird and stupid take on there, don't know. Stupid that person out of themselves that they were mad no that they haven't been cancelled for every Yeah, other they were like, I said worse. worse things and no one cancelled me for that. I was pleasantly surprised. I think the biggest thing I noticed is I think it's been a long time since I've seen like a Pixar film, honestly. And I was kind of surprised just how much animation has grown. Really impressive, isn't it? Especially it's gotten like real... really impressive. The expressions just alone. Yeah. Well, not even talking about the way they did effects or mm -hmm. sort of visuals, like just the expressions alone. Are really good. I feel like part of it was also the success of, um... Spider-Verse? Spider-Verse, yeah. Yeah. Spider-Verse kind of showed you could be... You could exaggerate and be very comic style. So, I forget... I think... Well, I forget. I know how this is going to be a weird, but like, Captain Underpants also was one of those early animations that did that. I did see that movie, yeah. And like, that's one that really did well with actually doing something in a comic style in 3D. That film was very out. nostalgic for me. I really, like, I, I didn't really grow up with any of that, but I thought it was still a good Oh, I did. I had a lot of those books when I was a kid. <laughs> my niece, um, we took it, my niece to watch it, she liked it, and that's the one I was to see it. Like, I'm pretty sure the film is just a retelling of, like, the second book or something. Uh, I never read him. My, my friend did. Hmm. Peanuts movie also experimented with animation style. It did. Which I one? I forgot about that. The Peanuts movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could see it doing that. But all those movies doing that definitely opened the floodgates for more movies being more open with trying that. Yeah. It's definitely that there's some good stuff. Um, it was also refreshing for Pixar to tell a movie that isn't about a son and dad again. Yeah. For like the 15 now, billion uh, time. Otter, admit it. It is really nice that they really break off from that. Well, I mean, Toy Story, Toy Story's never been about a son and dad. I've seen some people say that, like, Woody acts as, like, a father figure to Andy. I guess so, though. I, <laughs> you know what? I, I can see that now, though. That's a weird... It is weird, a, but I, I get where they're coming from take? when they say yeah. that. I don't think it's a wrong take, but it's not a take I really thought about before. It kind of makes more sense what you're looking for in that way, I think. Because 4 is mostly about Andy not be or not uh, Woody not being able to let go. So that kind of does fit with the whole idea of like, oh yeah, when they go to college, you're supposed to let them go. Yeah. But then Andy doesn't take place. Like he doesn't. He's not an active person. Any of them. The not really. I don't know. Like I, I get and don't get that take. I guess. Like I get it, but I still feel even then Andy doesn't do enough in any of them to really justify. Andy's not really an active player in any of them. Yeah. At best, his existence is a driving force, but everyone yeah. else are the major players. Fuck. Yeah. Just went feline and clothing, right? I know this. Oh, I missed a lot. Peanuts went out of the wall. New cat and cat movies doing it. Wait, no, how am I going to do that? The new Puss in Boots. 
I didn't know they were making a new Puss in Boots. Is that gonna be any good? I'm kind of curious. Hearing that it's gonna do that, it makes me a little bit more interested, if I'm being honest. Hold still. Oh, Jesus. Hold still. I think my headset just did a, a pretty new what? battery load thing. Oh. <laughs> I wish it happened before or after this fight. That would be nice. Because I need to plug it in real quick. Yeah, mine will start talking very loudly. It's very, very loud. Sailor Moon references. I didn't know there was Sailor Moon references. God, there's a lot. Like they have the posters. I don't. A lot of the. I don't watch she Sailor Moon. Do. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a ton. I think at some point they actually play a little bit of the main track, but like the reference to the what you would oh, Sailor Moon. So that band was just insane, essentially. Yeah. Which is that was Surprise! Yoko Taro actually plays things. Who? Yoko Taro. Oh, Yoko Taro. Yeah. yeah, he likes games. I would assume so, given how much he makes them. It's just also kind of weird to remember that. Yeah, a lot of devs play and like games. That's what well, good devs. <laughs> good devs. Sorry, I just need to say. Yeah. Sorry, I had to plug in my headset so that it doesn't die in the middle of my stream. No worries. Because I don't have an alternative right now. Mm. Uh, anyway, Dom, watch the new Puss in Boots trailer. I go watch it. It's a weird thing to go and look for it now that I think about it. Oh yeah, to go make sure you're good. Assuming you unplugged it already. Did you catch that? Uh, you're very quiet compared to the game, so I have trouble hearing. I'm talking to Don, so oh. like, Wait, what'd you say? I was, say, I was telling you to make sure your battery doesn't melt inside your headset. Oh! oh Wait, has it yeah. not been charging? I mean, I'm just making sure just don't leave oh, plugged no. in for too dang long. Oh yeah, it'll get hot though, it's not even hot. Oh yeah, the Oculus headset, yeah. 
Thank you for the reminder, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll get hot, but remember, there, there's... Yeah, there's a problem with them where you can, like, literally melt the board. But, I mean, it's not even warm. Like, don't, I have to worry only if it's getting warm, right? No, if it's... I just wouldn't take the risk. Oh, okay. I won't take this. I thought, like, if you left it overnight. If you do that, it will definitely do it. Yeah, I guess I thought that's what the danger was. I just, personally speaking, I would not risk it. doctor can get shit sorted out with my fucking insurance. Oh, I do. Like, when we were talking on Friday morning, she was just like, yeah, your insurance company's gonna be a bitch about it. I'm like, I know. And so we have to go through that bullshit in order for them to let me get my fucking prescriptions. So once we do, I'll be pretty excited. They're gonna up the dosage. Nice. And if that fails, then fuck it, I'm going to the gray market. Okay, nah, but yeah, if I have to. How is that thing a weapon? Oh! Oh, okay. It's like... Like, telekinesis a fucking staff. What are we getting a psychic? A what? Psychic character. Um... Uh, I'm gonna put fucking... Is there a psychic on the fancy job? What am I doing now? I Oh, yeah. Literally psychic in Final Fantasy X2. Oh. Yeah, when they put that in the game. That's when we're Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, when they put that dress figure in. <laughs> that's it. There we go. Now now, now we know what's going to be in the next one. They can just pick up psychic and they're good. You don't I have mean, to think Machinist came from tactics. Yeah. Some stuff can come from Tentu. Everyone loves Tentu. Yeah, I just like thought all of the glasses came from tactics because that's usually where most of them come no final fantasy 3 was the first one to have jobs and a lot of the jobs are from 3 yeah. there's a handful of ones that didn't come from tactics that we got yeah wait i'm going backwards Huh. 
What's going on? Oh, okay. Uh. Uh. Ah. I'll probably have to wait till I've got this. Ah, the bad man. If you don't make a field check, so that's okay. Because if I don't make a bad man, I'll be a chance to make a bad man. Mostly because I don't. Like, I cannot hear my phone. Or I can't hear people yelling at me. I've been playing too much PvP. I keep trying to heal myself. Yes, heal that stuff. Spinning stop. Ah, yes, the classic grab you with silk and spin you into spikes attack. That old standard. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, S spin. Hold still. <laughs> even the point. <laughs> what do you mean, like, the general decrease in their efficiency? It just feels like the further we go, the less the less they do anything. Yeah, that is a problem. The stadium's here, too. Is that thing? What have we here? Tis not unlike a Hanish alchemical furnace in design. Well, there is one way we might find out. Stop! You mustn't touch it. Fritra! Oh. My apologies. Should I continue calling you Varshan? Eh, doesn't You may address right. me as you wish. My nature is no longer a secret. Still, this is not a setting I imagined for our reunion. Surely you've not entered these ruins as common looters. 
would that we could deny your accusations, but I fear you're not far from the truth. Great Vritra, might we beseech thee to explain the nature of this strange contrivance? It was crafted by our alchemists at my behest for the purpose of sealing something away. Hmm. Ah. I've already I've already seen this on Twitter, but I have to do it just because it's so funny. I don't know what it is, but I assume it's funny. I wasn't gonna touch it, but you know Ishtola. Oh. I haven't seen that moment. We'll talk later. <laughs> you and I will speak later. <laughs> oh no! Not the time for frivolity, my friend. Not the time. This even Graha's like, buddy. <laughs> buddy, read the room. Be some <laughs> you fucked <crap>. up. <laughs> Damn I'm not used to the warrior of light fucking up like this. I'm confused. <laughs> Death glare of the seventh dawn. Yeah, really. <laughs> Perhaps I should simply show you. Put the void ooze in there. Oh, Stola has plans. <laughs> I have lifted the seal, if only for the moment, by an authority only I possess. A clay. We sealed away the goop because it was simply too icky, yeah. No, my friend. Small though it may be, this is a functioning gate into the void. We can go to the 13th from here. Void gates and fissures are much the same thing in practice in the sense that both allow passage between the Source and the Thirteenth. The difference in terminology refers to the circumstance of their creation. A fissure is an incidental tear in the fabric between worlds, whereas the Void Gate is a product of deliberate action. I suspect this is the latter, judging by the elaborate mechanism put in place to control it. To think that our search for material riches would lead to this priceless discovery. The swirling emptiness, it puts me in mind of my old friends. Not to mention old foes. You may now enter with NPC avatars. Needs to be a little bit more. Why are we playing the Heavensward theme? We're going back to Heavensward, boys. I must admit, I am deathly curious to know how a void gate came to be hidden in the depths of these ruins. To tell that tale, we must first peer far to the south, and even further into memory. An age five millennia past, when the Algan Empire sent an invading force to the shores of Merasidia, the southern people rallied around the commanding figures of Bahamut and Tiamat, and fought fiercely to repel the would-be conquerors. I am familiar with this story. With Bahamut's defeat, however, the tide turned against them. Oh, Desperate to seize any advantage, the Merasidians resorted to summoning primal entities. Uh-huh. Warren Triad. I've heard of them. In response, 
Emperor Zande forged a covenant with the Cloud of Darkness, sovereign among the all-devouring denizens of the Void, thus bolstered by icons on one side and Void Scent on the other. The two armies clashed in a battle of unspeakable carnage. So much death, so much loss. I consider myself well versed in that period of history, yet you speak as one who witnessed it happen. Indeed, I did. I heard Tiamat's roar of defiance and sped toward that war-torn land. Along with my sibling, Ashdaya. Ashdaya. It's like the one dragon we haven't seen yet. We dragons are not male or female, as men are wont to classify, but Elder Sister is the closest a mortal tongue can come to describing what she meant to Oh yeah, they always play the Heaven's Red theme when dragons are afoot. That's true. Also, dragons have transcended gender, it seems. <laughs> I was the last of our brood to hatch, and Ashdaya cared for me where my sire could not. Thus, I was with her when Tiamat rode. I was with her when she journeyed south, and I was with her when she fought against the Void Sent Hordes. Yet, no matter how many of their vile fiends we cast down, more rose from the abyss to take their place. Faced with an unwinnable war of attrition, Ashdaya risked her all on a final gamble. She plunged through the void gate itself to strike at oh. the root of their strength. That's why we've never seen Ashdaya. I tried to follow in her wake, determined to lend what aid I could. But even as I came upon Alag's glittering tower, I saw the rift close behind her. And Ashdaya has been lost to us ever since. They didn't have, like, five heads, did they? I find I must retract my I've had all the genders. knowledge. Well, Nowhere one of the bosses in the Crystal Towers archives of Darkness did I see mention of dragon. such noble sacrifice. Oh. That does not surprise me. To Alagan eyes, it must have seemed as if a lone dragon driven to madness, simply dove through the gate and did not return. For my part, I spent long years searching for the means to reunite with Ashdaya. Until I could search no more. Until Alag was dust, and the arts to open a void gate large enough to accommodate a dragon forever lost. Yet you had the beginnings of a gate right here. Under the control of a harness device. My discovery came before Radzat Han was founded. Though I scoured the lands for a method to cross the rift, it was beneath the sea that I chanced to find a natural plane of fissure. It was, however, far too narrow to admit a worm's bulk. Only after our city rose upon the rock, and I could enlist the aid of our talented alchemists, did matters take a favorable turn? Their dedication was beyond reproach. Tirelessly they worked to expand the fissure, and after decades of toil, it finally grew to a size that a child might pass through. A child, you say? I know a child from the 13th. <laughs> Not long ago, you told us that you called out to your kin, but Ashdaya's answer was silence. I suspect the conclusion to your tale is not a joyful one. With hope in my heart, I used a simulacrum to cross the threshold. But no, I did not find her. What I found was a host of void sent clamoring around the opening they had sensed. It was but a moment, but enough. I had no choice but to retreat and allow the portal to contract once more. The gate was a threat to your people. You 
had to decide between endangering Razatan and abandoning your sister. You chose the latter. Twas not that thy sibling scorned thy call. Twas that she was trapped beyond a barrier through which neither roar nor dragon may pass. Even now, in the desolate world of the Thirteenth. I can scarce imagine your pain, yet it was wise not to linger in that place. Too long a sojourn, and even a being of your power risks being warped into a creature of the Void. You've seen this phenomenon before, when we stepped into the darkness. Yep. That was a long time ago, though. I remember when Nero turned purple. <laughs> and then I threw up on the desk. Turned purple? Well, yes. His wounds had allowed the Void's corruption to enter his body and twist his ether. Had it been allowed to progress much longer, I presume he would have been fully transformed. Then there is little hope for Ashdaya. Ah, no. I hadn't meant to. I speak only of possibilities. The scales of the first brood are extraordinarily resistant to ethereal fluctuations. They are the protective talisman's core components, after all, and even the corruption I described would struggle to overcome. Of course. With the warden scale in one's possession, one could conceivably survive a stay in the 13th without being warped by its energies. Be that as it may, it is too late to rescue my sister. Five thousand years too late. And now countless others look to me for guidance and protection. So when I sensed intruders in the ruins, I came only to ensure that the gate remained closed. That, and to secure the treasure, of course. Okay, but we've left the gate open for a while. Okay, we're closing it again. <laughs> I wish only to forget the rest. Ishtola is not pleased. Someone, someone teach Ishtola the Mario 64 parallel world skip. <laughs> Ishtola, have you heard of a half A press? <laughs> so they managed not only to expand the fissure, but also manipulate it as one might a gate. Astonishing. Is there any chance I could learn more of how this feat was accomplished? I don't know, Ishtola. I don't like fish that much. I will tell you what I can. First, however, I must return to the High Crucible and arrange to replace the Guardian you so handily destroyed. <sighs> it will not do so to leave the gate undefended. Ah, my apologies. We were perhaps a touch zealous in our rush to uncover the vault's secrets. If the constructs can be repaired, we'd be happy to offer our assistance. That will not be necessary. Much as I retain spare vessels for myself, we keep the duplicate Guardians on hand for such eventualities. In any case, we should return to Razahan. God, I need to stop yawning. No, keep yawning. Blah. Let the yawns empower you further. I, I don't think a yawn is a sign of empowerment, Dom. Oh, uh, we'll be back, sorry. Okay.
Can we refer to Dawn as Yon going forward? I mean, you're more than welcome to. I promise we will discuss the Void Gate further, but first I must attend to the matter of the Vault Sentinels. As your instruments have no doubt been no <sighs> As your instruments have no doubt informed you, the Capiculu has been reduced to so much scrap. Please bring a new one out of the storage and see that it is conveyed to its post, along with some few lesser constructs constructs. Was it tomb robbers? Fiends born of the Tower of Zot? By the sisters, do not tell me of blasphemy yet Rome's free. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Oof. Awkward. Why such guilty faces? Surely it isn't you who are responsible for this. Oh. <clears throat> well, the details aren't important. I shall see it done immediately. They managed uh, faces for everyone. Yeah. Real awkward moment for us all. And with that, the vault will soon return, soon be secure once more. Now I believe you had questions. <sighs> Quite a few, in fact. But I'd like to begin with the gate itself. Is it still functional? Yes. Indeed, which is why I saw it sealed with the alchemy, a chemically forged lock, and warded it with my magics. Such power must not fall into the wrong hands. In truth, the primary reason for the vault's construction was to keep the gate hidden from the outside world. So much effort for such a little door. That little door you speak of leads to the abyss teeming with unspeakable horrors. That said, in its current state, it would admit only the lowliest of void scent. And from this side, no man would be able to pass through. No man. I should think Alfino would fit, given the firm enough push. Physical size is only one consideration. The true restriction hinges upon the etheric density of the soul in transit. And yet you succeeded in expanding the, this diminutive portal to sending your simulacrum to the 13th. Thanks to my brilliant alchemist, I should have it I should have destroyed the anomaly when I found it, but instead I bade them devise a means to control it. Excuse me. Sorry. I need to stop yawning. I'm so sorry. I'm back. I see that you're still yawning. I know. I need to stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> this needs to stop! After much experimentation, they accomplished the impossible. A method was conceived by which my magics could manipulate the fissure and transform it into a serviceable gate. But the process has long since been forgotten. Once I had given up searching for Ashdaya, Ash, Ash there was no need to preserve such esoteric and dangerous knowledge. Thus the gate lay dormant for years unaccounted. Okay. Our own passage of the 13th was made relatively simple thanks to the Crystal Tower. An ancient mechanism channeled the tower's vast stores of energy to open a void gate, one bound to a covenant made with the cloud of darkness. Once that sovereign entity was beaten back, however, the covenant was broken and the doorway severed from its connection to the void. Theoretically, it should still be possible to reconnect the gate by forging a new pact with another void scent, but such deals usually end in betrayal and death. In any case, not on time. In any case, we should attempt to gain an understanding of the Bounty Gate. Perhaps you could resume your, the search for your sister. As I've already explained, I put those futile hopes to rest centuries ago. My place and my duty is here now. Ah, I had meant to ask, what prompted you to search for the vault in the first place? <laughs> it was all a Stenian's idea! <laughs> uh, to see if the legends were true. As you have seen, the fabulous love from the stores is quite real. 
if not its rumored origin, but I'm afraid I must assert a prior claim. I've been adding to that trove for years, little by little, but the time has come to spend it, that I may alleviate my people's suffering. Then we are of one mind. We had no intention of taking it for ourselves. I'm He's gonna buy a sports car. <laughs> we're, we're gonna buy a sports car and starts driving around fucking five <laughs> fucking Noctis cars or whatever. <laughs> the regalias. Yeah, that's it. The do stupid things and blame party members quest line. Yeah. <laughs> Your excellent Excellency, when would you object if I were to conduct a closer examination of the gate? I will make no attempt to open it, of course. So you say. <laughs> I owe you and yours a debt that can never be repaid. Whatever boon you ask of me, you shall have it. Ugh. <sighs> You are most gracious. I shall take full advantage of your permission. Would that I could join thee in thy study, but the Loperet will be anxious to receive my report. I beg my leave of you. And I must be off to Charlian as well. Mr. Skarl was eager to speak with you about the request, so please come back to the Annex as soon as you're able. Farewell for now. We can discuss my findings once I return. You will not be rid of me so easily. Uh-huh. The difficult part in all of this will be deciding how best to put these riches to use. Will you lend me your assistance in these deliberations? Sure. So about the streamlining. Oh yeah, the streamlining. Yeah. So. Is someone ping me? No. Um. Yeah, there was some streamlining done this patch. Um, the main scenario roulette has been heavily trimmed. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Blah. The yawns, they return. I'm gonna have to grab a soda or something. Um, basically, I don't know when, what's, when exactly you last played, um, but for a long time, main scenario roulette was literally just one of two possible eight-man dungeons. Um, e. They have... So first and foremost, Kate Westwind, which was a trial, is no longer a trial. It's a solo instance in the story, which means it's not in the duty roulette anymore. Um, they also reworked that fight completely. Um, Castrum has been reworked completely. It's been trimmed down. There's simpler fights, but they have more mechanics and they're more interesting. Um, you don't have the dumb gimmick bullshit, like the four cannons. Like, that doesn't exist anymore. Um, and the same goes for Praetorium. Praetorium now ends, instead of ending after killing La Habrea, Praetorium now ends after the fight with Gaius on the elevator. And then, if you're playing through the story, um... The Ultima fight is a trial, and then the La Habrea fight is a solo instance. Um, so, I did main scenario roulette after this patch came out, and I got Praetorium, and instead of taking like an hour, it took like 30 minutes. Um, I would prefer if you address him by his proper name, La Habred. No. Um. Let's see, what else? Carps are good for you. That's all I can really think of. I'm sure they're gonna do more streamlining because the the patch story has like not been touched. I would not be surprised if uh Good King Moogamog gets reworked because it's the first fucking like <laughs> endgame 
trial that a player will run into, and it's this convoluted, gimmicky mess. Um, about that fight, it's funny. So, I would not be surprised if Move Mod gets a rework. All the ones after that are fine. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they trimmed down the plot a little bit for the patch story. Um, yeah, it's just, it, ARR is now a much, much simpler experience. They also said something about there being a level switch at some point. Um, Copperville got turned into a boring DPS race. Oh, I heard something about that with Copperville. I don't remember there being a DPS race. Um, they did rework Copperville. Um, I feel like it's fine. It's way more, it's way better now. Like, I feel like, let's be honest, Copper Bell was boring as hell before. So Copper Bell was boring. super fucking boring. I hate like, it. If it becomes a Copper boring Bell. DPS race, at least it's probably a much faster boring DPS it's race. It's so much better now because, like, the stupid slime boss is not a fucking boring gimmick fight where one person does everything. Um, like, it's actually a boss now with mechanics instead of just, like, a bomb. And that's it, and no one gets to do anything until, like, the end of the fight. Um, the last boss has mechanics. Uh, instead of just, like, standing there and swinging his stupid hammer around. Um, yeah, Copper Bell, I don't know, Copper Bell's better in my opinion. It was so boring. Like, I think the other two starting dungeons also got reworked in the same way, but, like... I would hate getting any of those dungeons because, like, they're so tedious and they're so gimmicky. Yeah. And it's like, Jesus Christ. Ugh. Now they're just, like, straightforward. And they, they shouldn't be complex or gimmicky anyway. They're the first dungeons. Yeah. Like, they should be simple so that new players can just play them and get a feel for how dungeons kind of work. Like, they're not as they were. They weren't representative of like what a player is going to expect when they get to end game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm sure. I mean, like some people like the gimmicky stuff. I've definitely heard a lot of people be like, the like a lot of people have sent questions to like podcasts and Yoshi P and stuff like that, being like, hey, can you make more gimmick stuff like how you used to and they were like no um <laughs> some people agree with that some people don't i personally think that like i just don't care like it, it ends up like even if it's cool the first time after the thousand time it gets very yeah very cool. if i have to repeat this content a thousand times i don't want to be doing gimmicks Unless the, they're, like, the really real short problem. and don't slow it down. That's um, the real issue when they try to do... Like, when they make any content, they have to think about, like, well, this is going to be in roulette, so how will this yeah. play out when you like, have to do it? For the I'm not opposed to them putting gimmick content into the game, but that's stuff that you would put in, like, Eureka. Yeah. You have to be very careful where they toss around gimmick stuff, because they have to consider yeah. it on both. If players have to deal with this on a very regular basis, will they get annoyed very quickly or not? Yeah. How um, much will this affect the player base? I almost thought you said Eureka. <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> Wait, what did Maddie thought you say? Yes, Maddie, please tell the class. Hey. Oh, oh, Maddie! <laughs> There are children in this in this stream, maybe. <laughs> Watching the stream, we don't know. The only dungeon I tanked was Sestasho because I got paired with so many tanks who never pulled aggro. Oh, the worst feeling. Please do not put gimmicks in there, says Ask. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Carl and I are in this together. I will follow her example. Yeah, I'm not against gimmicks, but, like, not in content I have to repeat a thousand times. Please.
that's the real thing they have to consider. It's an interesting balance issue or con like content creation issue they have to think about. It's like, well, shoot, players are going to have to do this a lot. Will okay. this bother them to have this to do it this This clearly, time? wherever this is, this clearly takes place on the 13th. No, don't hide your face. I think I know who you are. I'm hideous, don't look at me. Oh, is it Golbez? Oh fuck, it's Golbez. Oh my god. He's a tree. He's an angry tree. No, you're thinking of x -Tap. I am thinking of x -Tap. They're the same person to me. No, they're not the same person, Don. <laughs> they're the same person to me. <laughs> I sensed the breaching of the gates, but it was not instigated from this side. It was thrown open from another. I too felt it. A rare occurrence, yes, but such tiny portals beneath our notice. There are more pressing matters at hand. Uh... Fucking, I don't remember the four fiends' names, besides Barbarisha. An opportunity is upon us, the coming of which we have availed for nigh on 10,000 years. We dare not let it slip our grasp. Yet we must not underestimate the she who bested the cloud of darkness. Even restrained by a covenant, the cloud was no feeble wisp to be dispelled by some flesh and blood mortal. I mean, this thing is pretty iconic. Couldn't have given anybody else. I don't. I played Resident. Not Resident Evil 4, what am I saying? <laughs> uh, Final <laughs> Fantasy 4, like on stream, but I just don't remember that shit. Bah, let her come. I will drown the world and watch this fleshling grasp for air at the final moments. Ah, oh, that's pretty fiendish. Yeah. Ho, 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 Your ho, zeal ho. is admirable, but forget not our cause. Think back on our struggles beneath this sunless sky. Remember why we see not our will to fight. Nephif won the four fiends with Lich Marlilith. Kraken and Tiamat. Yeah. They're they're different in FF4, but yeah. It's less dramatic version, to be fair, the original guy had bombast, that's true. Um, it's time we set war in motion and win redemption for our star. Shall we begin? If we are to spend the treasure wisely, we must first determine which groups benefit from the most monetary assistance. Some of my citizens may find it intimidating to speak with this trap directly, so I would ask that you act in my stead. Quella, you are to visit Akiali and Yedelmad, speak with Matsya and his people, and listen to their grievances. Estinian, I bid you do the same at Palika's stand. I'll be conducting my own cruise at Giant All Ground. Scarmigalone, Cagnazzo, Barbaricha, uh, Rubicante, I remember that, yeah, Rubicante. We can reconvene at Megaduda. Megaduda. I thought that last cutscene was going to be the end of the patch story. I guess not. Oh, jeez. It's been two and a half hours already. Fuck. Time for bed? Not yet. But that probably does explain why I'm starting to feel so tired. 
It's late. Yeah, I started late like an idiot. I mean, it's not your fault. Kind of is. Oh, oh Quell. Lame, so it's okay. Oh, Quella, I was glad to see you had returned unharmed. You finish your with the boat then. Anything the village desperately needs. Well, I suppose Kazal's loss hit, loss hit us the hardest. Uh, I've been trying to find buyers for my fish, but although I sell a few here and there, it's so much more difficult than it was before. Everyone's still struggling to rebuild their lives. For now, we're just banded together as best we can. Matsya, have you heard this cool idea called communism? Socialism. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> They're not the same thing. It's the same thing. No, it's not. It's not the same thing. <laughs> Debate me on Skype. <laughs> the goal of communism is a moneyless, classless society. Greetings and welcome, traveler. If this is your first visit to Thavnir, then you must try my special armor, Lass Lassie. It's a refreshing zest cannot be beat. Dude, I talked to you like the first time I got here. What could well, such a wonder cost you under? Normally, I part with three bottles for a generous price of 19,800 gil. But for you, I'm willing to go as low as even 10,000. You're practically stealing from me. I'm practically going to beat you up. <laughs> They're the same thing as a pretty good Zafra Berserk button tonight. Yes! They're not the same thing. <laughs> if you say that to any communist, they'll freak the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I am not Estinian. Estinian, who is... Oh! You're the I'm one good. who... With that spear toting fellow, well, you can hardly blame a man for trying. The world may no yes, longer I can. <laughs> the world may no longer be on fire, but we can still uh, sift through. But we are still sifting through the ashes, so to speak. Sister, spare me. We might as well have that ugly tower back for the scant few travelers we see these days. I myself barely have the coin to buy at local prices. I tell you, if I didn't charge the odd adventurer a small fortune for an afternoon tea, I'd be scavenging for scraps on the street. You know, buddy, if you don't like what's there, you can set up dual power structure. Force it to collapse. How fares the port? Well, it's in shambles, isn't it? The trade routes are open once more, now the danger has passed, certainly. But no small number of merchants have had to sell their ships to make ends meet in the short term. Zaf, have you had a Lassie before? No. I've never even heard of it before today. Add to that the sailors we lost in the final days, and it's a little wonder the flow of exports is no more than a pitiful trickle. I should try it. Uh, I'll have to look it up, because I don't even know what it looks like. If Kalzal and his consortium were still with us, I'm sure he would have found a way to turn our fortunes around. Now that was a man who got things done. God's rest his soul. He was spoken with the key figures and gained an understanding of the populace's hardships. Ah, the Middle Eastern India, Indian area. Yeah. Razahan is, I think, just fantasy India. This is Baron de Fleur card so fucking sweet. That's I might as well use the Ethernet. Uh Lassie's original name for buttermilk, the traditional Dahi? Is that Dahi or Dahl? I can't read if oh. that's an I or not. Base drink in the Indian subcontinent. Lassie is a blend of yogurt, water, spices, and sometimes fruit. 
Namkeen Lassie is similar to Doe, while Sweet and Mango Lassies are like milkshakes. She uses cannabis to form a bond. It's an I, not an L. Okay. Huh. Ah, my advisor's return. I made I just made it back myself. Why do you retain this vessel now that your true form is known? You could have flown across the island at a fracture of the time. Be that as it may, a sight of a massive creature descending from the sky can be startling to say the least, and there are few places I can enter comfortably without risk of flattening some so cart or stall. They are Indian milkshakes. Oh, yeah, I like milkshakes. Hmm, fair enough. As for my inquiries, the people of Palakistan were unanimous in their reply. They are surviving. Resources were stretched to the limit when refugees were pouring in, but they persevered with some assistance from Yedi Yedimad. From what I understand, they have always had been an independent community, hunters and foragers and the like, and I was assured that the jungle provides for their needs for the most part. Palakistan has weathered the disaster better than most, it seems. But now I can't lie, similar to a turned off my actual word detector. What's an actual word detector? Like autocorrect? I myself heard good news and bad. The quarrymen were cautiously optimistic, having just sold a wagon full of giant skull and a foreign trader. But such visitors are few and far between. Compared to our best years, the weight of stone leaving Thavnir has been light indeed. Our nation is small and isolated, its prosperity dependent on steady stream of exports. We must identify any obstacles of the flow of trade so that we can begin working to remove them. Tell me, what did you learn in... Akiali and Yenimad. Such is life when dealing with languages that aren't English. It just broke my brain slightly such that I stopped reading the entire sentence as English. Ah, gotcha. Hmm, I see. Without a dedicated buyer, the average fisherman must struggle to offload his daily catch. Huh. <sighs> Which is why I believe we should first address the lack of ships and shortage of able-bodied sailors in Yanibad. I am reminded of a child I spied as I made way back to the palace. His father lost at sea when the beasts sunk their vessel. So many variations of the same tragic tale, repeated over and over. So many lives lost. Enough grief to drown on, uh, enough grief to drown in if we let ourselves be overcome. But we will not. Quella, Estonian, I consider your perspectives. I will consider the perspectives you brought me and devise a plan to help my people confront this adversity. Come, I would like to you to be in attendance when I announce the proposal of my assembled functionaries. Big boy. Big boy. I thank you for your attendance. The riches the radiant host have retrieved One of those. were hoarded in hours and hours name. A fortune I set aside for a future day. And lo, that day hath come. 
May it aid our wounded city. It's been almost an hour. I give up cleaning this pen. Like an animal pen? Or like a writing pen? Big pigsty. In better times, I would leave such a task to our capable Ahawan. A writing pen. God rest his soul. I didn't know people had to clean their writing pens. Find me I mean, you're like me and have sweaty palms. Yes. I will assume the responsibilities of my office directly. Firstly. The treasure shall be sold for more convenient currency. Thence, invested into the trading port of Yetamar. Our merchants must have their operations restored, their ships rebuilt. Commerce must flow once more. None were spared the tragedy of the final days. Of this, I am well aware. But an absence was created by the loss of Karazal's consortium. And by filling it, we provide new means for our fishermen, our artisans. I give up, I say, as I go back to, to clean the pen. To distant markets. Well, best of luck with the pen cleaning. And what of the children who were left without family to care for them? Hmm. That is a concern which weighs heavily upon my mind. The simple gift of coin will soon be exhausted, leaving these young souls adrift on the fringes of our society. You know, Vitra, you could probably just adopt them. Nay, a proper solution is needed. One which doth guarantee their welfare for years to come. Thou hast surely seen how other nations rise to meet this challenge of adventurer. What dost thou deem the wisest cause? Oh, here we go, finally. Yeah. It does take a village to raise a child. Uh, I'm gonna go with that one. Of course. <laughs> Why am I worried someone's gonna suggest Bitcoin as the solution? Oh no. Bro, I killed things dead. I don't write social policy. Something like Kazal seems appropriate. Ah, a fitting candidate. Kazal should be remembered not as the blasphemy which terrorized Thavnir, but as a hard working and generous man who brought much wealth to our shores. Do any among you? Object to this proposition. Many here lost loved ones to the beasts. In that time of strife, any one of us could have broken. Any one of us may have been taken by despair. When I think of Kalzal, I feel no hatred. Only a stinging regret that we could not save him as well. Isn't that right, men? This bodes well for that boy. Mirad, was it? 
Perhaps he can cut ties with that shady peddler. Then let it be done. Henceforth, this initiative shall be known as the Kazal Foundation. Nabdeen, thou art to assemble a patrol and ensure that no child in this city lives in squalor. Is Vitra's side ever gonna heal? Dude has like a gash the size of a bus. Clerks, see on. to the management of our funds and make haste. Our citizens must not suffer a day more than is necessary. Dragon and man, side by side in pursuit of a brighter morrow. You mind the dish guy. Thank you for putting forth Kozal's name. Those whose lives were he enriched will take comfort in seeing his legacy honored. You will forgive me for not speaking sooner, but I bear a message from Archon Eshtola. She asks that you meet her at the High Crucible at your earliest convenience. Understood, thank you. Eshtola must have finished her study at the Void Gate. Shall we hear what she has to say then? <sighs> if anything, the pen cleaning has given me hatching. Hatching practice? I will go with you. Hatching for what? Oh, like, cross hatching? I thought the Satrap would be too busy to setting up the foundation. My clerks have been well-oiled cogs in this administration since before the Ahewan assumed the office. Uh, they understand what needs to be done. I am curious to learn the conclusions of your Archon has reached <coughs> concerning the gate's unique construction. As you wish. Allow me to lead the way, Your Excellency. <laughs> yes, Manny? <laughs> I'm just terrorizing people in Master Duel by somehow getting a lot of good, like, negating hands instead of, like, hands that actually meant let me do things. Mm. And then everyone just quits because they're just mad because I, I took away their ball. <laughs> Someone's already got the Moki Moki, mate. Right, here we all are. You discovered something new. I took a closer look at that device. I was able to determine how it keeps the Void Gate sealed, but not how it might instead be employed to expand the opening. For that, I would need to reference the technique developed by Vritra's alchemist. No, he no doesn't do anything if I click on him. To survive uh... the intervening years. I'm heavily disappointed now. We know this, so why have you sent for us? Have you learned all of value or not? Patience, good sir. One must introduce the subject before launching into specifics. From what we understand, travel between worlds is accomplished by passing through the nebulous rift which exists between them. 
Uh-huh. Picture, if you will, the moment you were called to the first. Gah. Floating through space, lots of crystals. Pretty trippy. You touched a focus of some kind to help the Exarch pinpoint your location. His summoning spell then channeled the energies of the crystal tower to begin oh, your journey damn. to his world. Uh -huh. Yeah, the that's right. Tore a hole in the wall separating source and shard and cast you into the intervening nothingness. In that place, the laws of nature hold no sway. The nebulous rift of it the lesser known VR realm headset, of temporal yeah. Temporal and spatial instability. You were born safely to your destination in the first. The feet that guided you across such an unimaginable distance, both physical and metaphorical, was nothing short of a miracle. That shit off the field. Then what of the many voids sent found in the source? Who guides them here and how? An excellent question. Though there are several methods by which the void's denizens might intrude upon our world, the rituals of summoning are the most typical. For example, let us consider the gargoyle, a creature of middling power. Ooh, the spooky music. To call upon such an entity, the prospective summoner must force open a void gate. The portal lasts but a moment and is relatively small, allowing only an imp or other lesser being to squeeze through with their physical body intact. Powerful gargoyle, however, is too large for that. Creating a gate big enough for him would require vast amounts of energy, far beyond the reserves of any one mortal practitioner. Instead, tis far more common to bring over only the entity's soul. We had a taste of that ourselves when a certain exarch dragged us to the first. Okay. Yoink. And just as our bodies remained in our world, the void sense physical form is left behind Ow. in the thirteenth. Destination. The summoned soul is granted a temporary shell to inhabit. In the gargoyle's case, a stone effigy has proven a suitable vessel. Oh, damn. I got 50 gems from one of the end result uh, rewards. Huh. I've only ever seen it give me five. Shit. Something, something rules of nature. Kind of. Wait. More like metaphysical you said rules that void of nature. Must be called here deliberately by someone the rules of nature. Can you imagine? Exactly. For a being to navigate the chaos of the rift, with or without form, there must needs be a guiding agent on the other side. Ishtola, are you asking if you can be thrown into the fucking void to teleport us there? Yes. When the Horde poured forth it's from hard. Alag's great gate, okay, it was the technologists who drew them through. 
Though to my knowledge, planar fissures are in essence natural passages between our world and the void, which require no such guidance to traverse. Why is only the boundary between the source and the thirteenth so fragile? So much so that it often tears open of its own accord. I believe solving that mystery is key to understanding travel between the source and its reflections. The cats were fans of being yeeted. I guess. I guess Ishola just really wants to be yeeted. And how do you intend to get your answers? No, the danger is too great. Perhaps, but what some call danger, others think of as adventure. Were you not listening to my tale? Never mind that the means to expand the gate has been lost to the ages. Even could you force the portal wide enough, you would be greeted by an army of murderous horrors the very instant you step through. I yeah, assure I've been you there, I was most that. attentive. And I agree that to go alone would be certain death. But if I were to bring along one who has already braved the 13th and humbled the cloud of darkness, well, I imagine my chances would be much improved. Still, this is a really weird way to ask me on a date. But sure. It's kaijus. Catapulted, yeah. I you might say that. Ouch. Once again, I put my life in your ever-reliable hands. Oh. That said, as Save much as I would like to march 13. straight back to the Void Gate, there is the small matter of being unable to open it without the Sartrap's personal authority. As I've said before, I will grant you and yours any boon you choose to name, provided it does not endanger my people. You have my word that we will take every precaution. Not a single Void Scent will be allowed to threaten Radzatan. Assuming we managed to expand the portal in the first place. No. You have a no. plan. Look at that. What's the matter? Actually, I had hoped you might help us with that. I presume the oh, you played by Kim Bossar. How on earth do you explanation of their methodology? TK a DP? By DP, I I assume you mean like a like a volcanic viper. Or Kai's like Kai's DP or whatever. I don't know what you mean by TK. So I can I can give like a general overview of Plus R Biken. Plus R Biken is very different from Strife. Um she is way more defensive. Um, she can do shit on block. Um, so basically, like, you'll be holding back and block something. And then when you get, when you're in block stun, if you do 4-1-2 or 6-3-2, and then, like, a button, you'll do a different type of counter. Um... So it's 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 a different motion. It's just a scoop, like any other quarter circle. But um, you're doing it from block to two. So either four one two or six three two. Um, Tatami Gaishi works exactly the same way. Um, she can like ex Tatami Gaishi. So I don't remember how to do it, but if you if you do do it. Um, basically, she sends out a tidal wave of tatami mats. Um, let's see. Anything else I'm missing? No, that's that's kind of it. Um, she's basically XR'd Biken, except... Yeah. 
Yozansen is a DP motion. 623. TK is Tiger Knee. Oh, Tiger Knee motions. Okay. Yeah, I just I wasn't familiar with the acronym. Um Yes, in Strive Yozansen is a quarter circle. Yes. Um I don't think if if you can Tiger Knee Yozansen in in I don't remember. Does she have Yozansen in Pulsar? It's been so long. I haven't played Pulsar in a while. I don't remember if she even has Yozansen. That they did. House Daimir was overseeing the project. Daimir. Ah, yes. The family associated with the great work. She does it's the DP motion. I did not fully comprehend oh. the theory. Um, but the research began with a void scent which had I don't know. through the fissure. I've never tried Tiger Kneeing a DP motion. I guess you I guess you can like try it. I don't even know if you can do it in Strive. After a thorough examination, they created an arcane simulacrum possessed of similar qualities. A man-made void scent, if you will. They mentioned Tiger Ning. It was it. apparently. I'll, I would trust us to do. They know what they're the talking point. about. A man-made void scent. <sighs> yes. Being great admirers of the Archons, House Daimir submitted detailed notes to Charlene's official committee. <sighs> They expected praise and accolades for their simulacrum. We're doing it in trade mode since he was on set of the quarter that their circle. Work had been yeah. classified as prohibited material. If that's true, then those notes might still be stored in a forbidden archive somewhere. Not Google, of course, since that library had yet to be built. Which leaves us with. Graha's favorite place to sneak around. Indeed, Numenon's restricted stacks may very well hold a copy. In which case, I say we head directly to Charlien. Ah, so we can't look it up on Google. On Google. <laughs> No. Unless okay, you anticipate needing help okay, to reach Google. the high shelf. I see myself being of little use. I was practicing TKing Eno's dive Still kicks and his eight sultry. He's a fun to throw out every now and then. Let us be on our way as well. <sighs> Vanished, I'm glad you forgot about the whole, like, we're gonna talk later about you throwing me under the bus. They are resolved to venture into the void. Do I sit idly by? People on floor five aren't ready for Eno. No. No, they're not. No, they are not. I remember first getting Strive when it came out, like day one, and uh, after the ranking match, the one they used to place you, um, they sent me to floor eight, and I did so well that I went up to floor nine, and then I met a Kai who kicked my ass so hard I got knocked down to seven. Oh my god, I hate fighting Ram. I hate fighting Ram. Oh, she's so frustrating. I don't even know, like, like when is it okay to attack a Ramlethal? Feels like they just have an answer to fucking everything. 
It's so frustrating. Anyway, I was planning on doing the whole story tonight, but I'm feeling really fucking tired. Um, and I was gonna stream tomorrow anyway, so I guess we can just finish up the story then, and I can do the 24 man or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna call it there for the stream. It's been about three hours. Um, is anybody, is anybody streaming right now? Anybody I can, anybody cool to raid? Uh, nobody I know. Okay, well. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some sleep. Well, I'm gonna take my medication and then go to bed. Um, yeah, I'm fucking, uh, like, my eyes are half closed, so, like, the camera can't catch it, so it just looks like I'm closing my eyes the whole damn time. Um, so I'm gonna call it there for the night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we'll just finish up the story and then do the 24 man and if I get through all that really quick um, We'll do some 14 PvP, I guess um, And then Whenever uh, God. Uh, Whenever that Gundam Battle Operations 2 for PC network test happens, we'll stream that for sure. Oh my god, but Sorry, my headset's been like... For some reason, all the voices were really low, so I couldn't hear anyone. Did anyone say anything to me? I'm sorry. Not no. to you directly, no. Okay. I apologize if I missed anything. Anyway. I'm gonna call it there for the stream. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Um, gotta hit you up for some strife sometime. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, my free days are Saturday and Sunday, so... that That's probably the best times to... Hit me up. Well, you're in Australia, right? So you're a day ahead of me. So I guess for you it would be like Sunday and Monday. Um, anyway, I'm tired. I'm gonna head <laughs> out. Uh, bye.